Hi there, you found us here at Storytime with Miss Becky. I'm Miss Becky, and this is our friend Bear, who loves to read along with you. Bear has a question for you. Do you ever wish you could choose a puppy to pick up and take home with you? Wow, lots of yeses, Bear. Well, today is puppy pickup day for this little Labradoodle. He can't wait to meet his new family. Let's put on the magic reading glasses and see if he is the kind of puppy you would want to take home. Puppy Pickup Day by April Cox. Today is the day, wake up, wake up. Today is the day, barked the littlest pup. Seven more puppies jumped from their beds as the little one yelled, Wake up, sleepy heads! Primping and fussing with hairbrush and comb, today all the puppies will get a new home. So eager and happy they ran off to play, excited and ready for their big day. When two of the doodles played tug with a rope, for the littlest pup, there wasn't much hope. When the others could jump, catching balls just for fun, the littlest pup couldn't catch even one. You're too small, the other doodles cried, as with a big thump, he fell off the slide. He sighed and he plopped himself under a tree, saw rabbits and said, hey, you're little like me. Joining the bunnies, he ran and he raced. He wasn't too small to play tag and be chased. Under bushes and trees, over bridges they crossed. Then little pup yelped, Oh no, I am lost. I must get back, I cannot stay. Today is puppy pickup day. In the meantime, some families began to arrive. They each picked up doodles and then there were five. Aunt Nola Doodle said goodbye to each one as she patted their heads a few times, just for fun. Hello, said the puppy to Evie the cat. I have run a long way. How do I get back? Through the tall grass, she said, over the hill. Find a small stream and a bullfrog named Bill. He walked by the water looking for Bill, who was chasing a fly and wouldn't stand still. I must get back. I cannot stay. Today is puppy pickup day. While the pup was wondering what he should do, three more were picked up. And then there were two. With grandkids excited who just couldn't wait, we drove to meet up with our fluffy playmate. Grandpa and Carrie were singing a song with Jackson and me clapping along. The pup saw his friend Abra as she came into sight and he knew Everything would be all right. I must get back. I cannot stay. Today is puppy pickup day. Then they heard giggles from kittens at play. Join us, they all said. It's a beautiful day. I must get back. I cannot stay. Today is puppy pickup day. Follow us to a shortcut, the pup's new friend said. He tried to hold tight, but fell right on his head. 
The littlest doodle ran back toward the gate. He squeezed under the fence, afraid he was late. I must get back, I cannot stay. Today is puppy pickup day. After a long and bumpy drive, his very own family was last to arrive. Could this new family love a clumsy pup whose legs had trouble keeping up? Who needed help after too many falls? Failed at tug and couldn't catch balls? He worried his family wouldn't like him at all. But he gave them a smile and tried to stand tall. He was dirty and scared and just wanted to hide. But he took a deep breath and he headed outside. Then Bella saw him. Look, here he is. Have you ever seen a face sweeter than his? All dirty said Carrie, making a face. But Nola knew how to remove every trace. Into the tub, our puppy was plunged. Off came the grass and the mud with a sponge. As the dirt and the grime were then washed from his eyes, he clearly saw now that they loved his small size. Puppy pickup day at last was done with a final pat from Nola. Make us proud, little one. Welcome to the family. It's been quite a day. The first of many adventures coming your way. Bear's wondering. What do you think Brady's family liked about Brady? Hmm. Do you think his family liked the way Brady walked up to them, stood tall, and gave them a smile? Yes? Well, what did you like about Brady? Some are saying they liked the way Brady made friends with rabbits and kittens. Bear, what did you like? Bear liked the way Brady didn't give up on himself and kept trying to make new friends. Bear also hopes you come back soon for more adventures in trying to be friendly. Bye for now. Please subscribe.